Okay, so I have my etching unit set up. I've got the battery packs installed, or I've got the batteries inst installed into the battery pack unit, and the electrical unit is plugged in. And to control my leads, I have them uh, clipped onto a non conductive surface so that they don't go flying around and touching everything accidentally. So I'm going to use copper nitrate because we're working with silver, so we're pouring the copper nitrate in just until it covers the metal sheet there, the metal package. And I think I've got enough for the both pans. Yeah. Just going to check their positioning again make sure I'm happy with that and you're probably not going to be able to see this but if you just look at the bottom of the pan um, there is a little discoloration there that was from a previous etch this is actually my copper etching pan and uh, the staining down there is a bit more significant and harder to get off but okay there's the argentium etching pan and sterling silver etching pan and you can see it's a nice clean blue color down there all right so because the snowflake is a bigger uh, chunk of metal i'm going to use the battery pack on it and so there you go green to ground let's see if i can put this so it's in photo here so green to ground and there may or may not be a little spark and yellow is hot and then with my electrical etching unit green to ground and red to hot and I don't know if you saw that but there's a little tiny sparking there and that's completely normal and like you can touch both electrodes and I can't even feel any um, shock or anything coming through there the current is so so low all right let's have a look now we should actually start to see some something happening here and I can see that with the um, wow the battery works fast just going to tilt that up so you can see the the black bloom underneath there and stick that back in there again so that is etching really well just as i had expected and um, new from past experience let's just check the bloom on oh yeah and that's blooming as well um there you go so you can see that the the copper and silver is being pulled out and is plating itself um, to the pan. So now we're just going to let that sit and do its thing. I'm going to come back and check periodically and uh, there should have a brush here somewhere. And I'm just going to brush the underside of the, the metal. And uh, what that does, it, it's not necessarily... Uh, or it's not necessary you don't have to do it but I like doing it just so that it exposes fresh metal for etching and I think that snowflake one is going to etch super super fast so I'll have to keep a close eye on that and I'll check every 15 minutes on that all right okay I don't know how long that's been but I'm going to uh, give this a quick little brushing so I'm going to unclip the uh, hot lead stick that down there so that I can manhandle this a bit better and the tape is holding out really well and there is a big pile of sludge down there already you can see that floating around in there that is silver so I'm just gonna go grab my optivizer so I can have a better look and see how that is progressing because I think this is going to be a very very fast etch um, like seriously that's already about halfway to where I want it to be it's 
it's really really fast so in my opinion this for six I paid $6.99 for the the little um, battery holder uh, well worth it like for the for the speed that it etches in and it looks like a really nice fast clean etch as well let's have a quick look at this one here and that's etching as well but um, nowhere near as fast I'm going to um, probably let this one sit in here and etch and when this one comes out I'm going to swap I'm going to put that one into uh, into that pot there because that is uh, that's actually really super I'm really pumped on that uh, that little battery pack so if you have a pen plater, you can actually um, put together some leads like this. So it, it has um, the male plug-in. It'll need to have that so that it plugs into the electro etching unit and then, or sorry, the electro plating unit. And so if you have like a pen plater, um, that will work just as well for electro etching and then you can actually uh, dial the the speed up or down if you want to so I'm uh, going to take another look at this because like this is seriously fast yeah nice clean nice clean cuts too you'll see when I take it out um, I'm going to say it's probably half a mil already. I don't think it's going to be going for much longer. Maybe, maybe another five minutes tops. Tops. Uh, this little guy here, I'm just going to let him sit in there because he's going to take a lot longer. Okay, so it is night-night time for the um, plug-in electrical etcher. And I'm just running on the battery at your right now um, because it's so fast uh, the electrical etcher will take at least another 45 uh, uh, minutes minimum before it uh, before it gets a deep enough etch for um, enameling and yesterday I think I ran it for about two hours and it still wasn't quite as deep as I'd want it so I'm going to pour the water, the solution here, from the Argentium pan. You can see that there is a, a black bloom on the bottom. That is the copper and the, uh, looks like not too much silver has been etched out. When silver starts to etch out, it gets that sludgy stuff. Um, so you just double filter up a cone funnel and then pour it in. And then you can recycle your recycle your solution and then the pan gets cleaned out and put away for the next time and this won't have any silver sludge at all in there so since I just switched over to the uh, battery on this design here I'm just gonna have a quick look because obviously it's gonna be etching super fast now as well and sure enough so I'm just curious to see what it does to the to the resist if it eats the resist really quickly too, which it may or may not do. I don't know. So so far it's looking okay. Definitely that um, that uh, cutout. You can see how deep that is, and that was after like 10, 15 minutes tops. Uh, I think 20 minutes it'll almost get to the point where it's eating through the metal and that's what I found in the past and I think that's why I kind of shied away from uh, from the battery etcher because it was just so aggressive and fast but if you are here to keep an eye on it and uh, monitor its progress I think it's a great unit and uh, you don't have to worry about it uh, chewing up your resist or breaking the resist down because that does happen.
So I'm just going to leave that go for another few minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to um, remove the tape. I've already uh, stuck it in uh, baking soda and uh, water solution to to neutralize it a bit. And then the unpeeling of the tape, which is probably one of the worst things. It's very, very sticky. Oh, that is that is fantastic. That's uh, I'm really happy with that edge. Wow. I don't have wow moments very often, but that's definitely a wow. I'm so glad I decided to build myself a battery powered etching unit again and I highly recommend it it's inexpensive uh, easy to do like seriously easy to do if you can uh, you know twist two wires together uh, you're set you can you can do this okay that was actually easier than I expected Perfect. Look at that etch. That is a really, really good etch. I'm going to go get the ones that I did yesterday. Um, where are they? No, I can't find the metal. Anyways, um, okay, let's look at the bracelet. So the bracelet was over an hour. And it's a very, very shallow etch. It's kind of interesting because it uh, it has those areas where it didn't etch very deeply. And so it creates a, a very sparkly effect as compared to that, which is really deep. So I'm just going to give that a quick washout and then you can see what it looks like. Okay, ha, 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 I found the metal so from yesterday. So it's actually on the back here. So that's yesterday's etching relatively okay and then here's today's you can already see just in that how how much depth there is to that and that is going to look awesome with enamel in there I'll do some shades of blue okay I'm going to check my other piece here make sure I take it out before it uh, disintegrates Okay, I'm going to call it on this one as well. I'm seeing a little bit of resist failure, so I don't want it to uh, cut into the design too much. So I'm just going to go peel this off and rinse it and uh, neutralize it, and then I'll be back. So I just detached the battery unit, and I'm going to take it apart. toasty warm so you probably wouldn't want to be doing this like all day long you'll probably want to give this a break every now and then just to uh, let it cool down because the batteries are like I said quite quite warm um, you know if I held them in my hand for too long I can definitely feel the heat so they, they do get a workout and so I think I, I've been etching for about an hour now total time so that's probably good you'll get uh, two decent etches out of uh, out of the battery uh, the battery life is a lot longer of course but uh, again I wouldn't want to run it too long so that it overheats so I can see that that's a, a pretty decent etch I'm going to uh, go into the wash up room and uh, remove the tape and I'm also going to prep the silver like I did for prepping it for electro etching. So it's not quite as deep an etch as the snowflake, but pretty good and definitely deep enough for enameling. So the battery unit wins out hands down. Don't even bother finding a one of those electrical plug-in-y things. And uh, super easy is a double stack of um, parchment paper and then sandwich um, the tuck tape in between there and then uh, punch it out with a, one of those creative punches and you're good to go. 
And so now this is all full of sludge at the bottom here. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to put that into the filter. Wow, that really is sludgy. I'll show you once I get that drain through here a bit. So that's really indicative of how much silver came out there. All that slag at the bottom is is all silver. And then the copper is that blacky stuff plated on there onto the pan. So that's going to all go into the filter. And then i um, just going to brush that out, save all of it because it is uh, silver and uh, fine silver at that so I don't know if you're kind of a mad scientist and you want to try and make metal clay out of it uh, that might be fun um, or else you can send it to the refinery and get money for it because it is metal and that's it I hope you've uh, enjoyed that electrical etching I will uh, probably do an additional video showing the enameling and uh, if you're into enameling or if you're not, you can watch it or not. And, uh, but it's still a nice way to add color to your pieces. And again, I really do love, love the look of that. It's so pretty when you see color on silver. And you can do any color you want, really. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.